and welcome back to the show. This is our cat segment uh, for Pet Pals. This is Jimmy, and Jimmy is our longest resident in the shelter of any animal. Uh, Jimmy came to us back on the 17th of September, um, and he's still looking for his forever home. If you're interested in visiting with Jimmy, you can find him right now in our kitty cabana. That's our open cat room. Um, he's kind of the king of the castle in there, and he frequently likes to look down on people from uh, the tall cat trees and from the top of the vestibule in there. Um, that's where he likes to hang out. Uh, Jimmy's story is that when he first came to the shelter, um, he came because his previous owner was moving and couldn't take him. Um, and when he came in, he was very, very shy. He was always hiding. He didn't really want to come out and interact with people. And so um, our staff and volunteers did a great job of working to socialize Jimmy. Um, but he still has those tendencies. Now he's opened up to us a lot and he's shown us how sweet and loving he and playful he really is. Um, but he still has all of that shyness kind of there. When he's going to a new place or he's with new people, he's very um, uh, unsure and he's a little fearful in those situations. I took him recently to an event because um, I wanted to get him a little more exposure and he was so afraid that he didn't really come out of his cat carrier the entire time that we were out. Um, he didn't get to take advantage of the fun and all the love and attention that he could have gotten at that event um, because he was just too scared. So when you're taking, um, thinking about taking Jimmy home, you wanna make sure that you're gonna give him uh, all the time and patience that he needs to really open up to you. Um, when you're visiting with Jimmy, um, one of the things that we've noticed here is that um, the, the bigger crowds seem to be um, a little uncomfortable for him. So when you come into the kitty cabana, if you come in uh, by yourself um, and kind of sit on the bench, he comes right down and he wants to sit on your lap cat. So he's come, be, come from being a very shy cat to being a very playful uh, lap cat. Um, he likes to be held, um, but he gets a little sad when visitors leave, so sometimes he um, swats at you a little bit to let you know that he's sad that you're leaving. Um, right now we're thinking um, because of his shyness and some of his um, eccentricities um, that <clears throat> he might be doing uh, better in a home that might have older kids or an adult only home just because he can get a little overstimulated and he doesn't necessarily like a lot of people a lot of loud noises in his face all the time um, and he might do best um, with in a home where he's the only pet as we mentioned he's not super fond of of the dogs he has been housed with other cats in the kitty cabana um, he seemed to get along best with taffy um, but um, he kind of they they kind of stay off to the to themselves they don't really interact very much um, so that's a, some of the things that you really need to take into consideration when you're thinking about adding Jimmy to your home. So if you're interested in adding Jimmy, our longest resident, to your house, please stop in and visit him in the Kitty Cabana.